What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. Um, today's the day that we finally start to assemble the motor, the bottom end and the head. So I've never built a motor before, so it's definitely going to be a pretty steep learning curve. Um, Damon's going to be coming around and giving me a hand, pointing me in the right direction. So at the moment I've got everything laid out, well most, most stuff laid out, just sort of getting organised, getting ready to bang it all together. Got the block sitting over here. I'm just There's a little bit of surface rust in there that I'm actually just trying to get rid of at the moment. So I'm pretty keen to get cranking on it. Um, it's going to be really cool to learn how to build a motor and probably going to be a pretty handy tool to have down the line. Hopefully I'm not building motors too often but yeah it's definitely going to be pretty sick to be able to do it myself and pretty keen to learn how it all goes together. Before I get stuck into it, if you're watching this, take this time, turn your phone upright, hit the <laughs> like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Much appreciated. Alright, so there's been a slight change of plans. Um, we've decided that I'm going to take all my shit out to Damon's shed and do it out there. Uh, it's just going to work out easier that way, so I'm on my way out there now. Got my block riding shotgun, head in the back, and yeah, I'll see you when I get there. Alright, made it to Damo's. Got everything set out. Got the engine stand set back up. All the parts laid out on these nice benches. A bit better than my shitty tables. Keen to work on the four banger again, mate? Built too many SRs. <laughs> yeah, good. It's just, they like making holes in the block. They do. So what's our first move? Uh, we'll put the pistons on the rods. Exciting. Um, and we'll piece everything out on the bench so they're in assembly order. So then we know we start there, work from the front to the back of the engine. I don't know, it's just force a habit. I like doing it that way. Yeah. And then just start at the bottom, work the way up. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Let's get some shit banged together. That's it. So we've gotten one pin in one side of the piston. Got a circle it. How fun was that? T terrible job. <laughs> well, three hours later and we'll have them all assembled. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're just getting the rods connected to the pistons. The oil, throw these thingies in. Yeah, the fun yeah. of putting these in here. Dame's just gonna get this one straight in. For, with my fingers straight up? Yeah. For the vlog, mate. Not gonna happen. Yeah, we'll come back when we've got all these assembled. People don't notice the demons that be in my mind Pour up a three in my sprite Seem to be fine, man, I swear I just need to be high I'm a fiend and it eats me alive I can keep it inside, I'm alone like a thief in the night Used to have to rack feeds for my wife Now we only eat greens when the season is right Sipping lean every night Got the team by my side Had a baby, it gave me a mean in the life First thing that I wrote was a suicide note Now the streets like you beast on the mic Man, the reason I write is it keeps me alive I ain't never said shit for the people to like 18 was a fiend for the pipe Poppin' Zans, now I charge for the features I write Plus I need to remind a few peeps They OGs for Q's and the P's, they don't mind they think they're OGs, but they lie every week They don't know we can see, so they type all these sheep With the keys to my ride, try to jump in my lane for the day Just to see what it's like I've been wavy of G's that I like, never Ah, oh, finally got All the piston and rods attached Those pins are an absolute bitch <laughs> I was stuck on one for about 10 minutes In the meantime, as you probably saw Damon's just been chucking in the main bearings And the main studs Giving them a lube you can never have too much oil when putting stuff together. Just... He's gonna throw in the thrust bearings. What do they do? They they stop the crank from moving. So like once it's in, it's got clearance, tiny little clearance. So that sort of like once the crank goes in, right, it stops it from moving and it gives it something to. So oil pressure will go down the sides and hold it. So if there's little grooves here. Yeah. So the oil pressure will sort of come through, oil will sit there and hold it hydraulically sort of center. Like it's like yeah, it's right. hydraulically tension, but it sort of guides it in a way that will stop it from going forwards and backwards. Interesting. Run a bit of oil down there. So we're just using the engine oil that you'd use in your car. So that first start up, there's something there. Yeah. Clean this up. Yeah, I don't know what's on there. Johnny put something on there to stop it rusting, probably. The jewels. Uh, 
know where we're going there. Let's make sure I get those thrust washers. There they are. Butter. Oh, baby. So make you moist? Oh, just an SR, no, no SRs make me moist. Oh, come on, mate. Cut it out. No milk and juice coming two liters, huh? <laughs> you just mag is gonna chop your six cylinder. A stock bottom end. <laughs> 80, built in 1985 bottom end. <laughs> So we've dropped the crank in and we're just looking at stuff, looking at the oil pump and just realised that in the set of gaskets here that I've bought, doesn't supply an o-ring for the oil pump, so that's a big kick in the dick. So the motor will not be getting fully assembled tonight. The one that goes here. Yeah, main, so... Main high pressure oil ring. Oil ring. Yeah, fairly important. I'm fucking pissed off, that's really annoying. So, yeah, the motor's probably gonna get finished this week sometime, but on the video, it will look like a second. And we also just realized, after Damon, the smart man he is. I went to check the instructions, and they said there's three short studs, because I've never put main bearing studs in that SRs, only head studs, and there's three short ones. Yeah, so here apparently. We're here learning. There is three short main studs for an SR, and the rest of them are bigger. Strange. That's why you read instructions. Do this, ADM. Yeah, what's with the kangaroo there? Kangaroo? Yeah. So, um, the rod's like jumping out the side. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe ADM delivered, I like, honestly. It's strange. So we've got the, uh, what do you call it? Main caps? Main caps? Yeah, main cap. Main, main bearing, caps, main, main bearings. Caps. And no. just put on the, uh, what's that? Girdle, maybe? Yes. I'm not, it's, it, yes, is it? that's yeah. what Johnny said, girdle. Yeah, I called it a uh, clamp, a clampy thing. Clampy thing. Yeah, that's that's a girdle. So it's starting to look like a bottom end again. You excited, mate? No. I'm excited. The day an SR sounds good, I'll be excited. Some SRs sound good. Mine, mine's gonna scream. Put 30k on SR and it'll sound good. Mm -hmm. Look at that. A bit of grease. No one enjoys going in dry. No, this is just spit in a tube, really. <laughs> Heavy duty spit. <laughs> Heavy duty. Just tighten them up to about uh, three finger clicks. You know, you just tighten them finger tight. A scientific term. Yeah, because when it heats up, it expands and tightens them up. <laughs> <laughs> That's our loss. <laughs> If I had an SR, I'd just tighten these up with a rubber gun. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this folks a pig. He's gonna come around one day to the SRs. There'll be one in the Dirty 30. No, there'll be a CA in it before there's an SR. <laughs> oh, that says a lot. Well, I've built like third, uh, fourth SR that I've put together, and uh, yeah, they're still going. They are? Yep. There's none of my SRs are blown up yet. Ah, there's hope for this one. <laughs> yeah, there is hope. Except I've touched it, so it's probably just gonna turn to shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll look good. Yeah. And it'll break though. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> oh, it'll look fucking awesome. What are you doing now, Damon? Just double checking for my own um, that there is clearance between them. Yeah. So, yeah, so the guy at the machine shop did the piston ring gap See, clearance. Let's just double check. But we're double checking. Looks right. good, does it? There is a gap, that was the main thing. Yeah. If right. there's a gap, you know it's been done. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing now, Damon? Touching your rings. Ooh. Um, so we go top ring. Uh, top ring goes like that. Concentration phase. His brain's working. <laughs> oh no, my brain has to do things. It's your oil ring, so that goes on either side of that. Oil ring in between your oil rings. So that one up like that. Sandwich. Sandwiched. On the last, is this the last piston? Second last. Second last piston. Maybe the first one to go outside the block. It's getting the rings in, we're just reading the instructions, it shows you where to put the gaps and shit like that. So, I'll show you another one. We basically got the... Top two compression rings. Yeah, so the top two are compression rings. Bottom one is the oil ring. So the, the, the wavy line is where the oil sits, so you'll have oil pressure in that. So, this wavy line here will be full of oil pressure. 
or close enough to a lot of oil and then these these two above it and below it will hold the oil in this gap pretty much yeah. so that you don't get oil past the compression ring so these sort of block it off as well that's when you get smoky engines people say I've done rings is when um, the oil starts getting through here and into your cylinder and burning off oil so yeah oil and compression rings pretty simple to put in you just got to make sure you got the gaps in the right places we'll, we'll set the gaps in the right places before, right before we put them in if you didn't get a machine shop to do it you got to make sure that all your ring gaps are right and when they say you get your ring gaps are right you'll get your two compression rings double check them by just slide them into the block and see how there's a little gap here you'd check that with um, some feeler gauges so that's got to be set to a certain get width depending on what you use the engine for yeah. Um, so with this, the uh, engine builder or the machine shop already um, yeah. gapped them, so we're laughing. They're gapped ready to go, which is nice. So I finally got the torque wrench, so... Three equal steps. What are you doing? Uh, 30 pounds, 60 foot pounds, 80 foot pounds, done. Yeah. Three equal steps up to 80 foot pounds. So three stages of torquing up to 80 foot, 80 foot your last foot, is it? Yep. Specified by who? IRP. What racing products? Starting at the centre ones and then working to the outside. Following their directions. They give you a procedure, which is nice. So now we're doing the final torque down to 80. Bang. What happened, Damon? Machine shop fucked up. We've hit another standstill. Pretty depressing times in the shed right now. Got all the uh, main caps, studs torqued down and the crank won't spin. It feels really zoomed in. Crank won't spin, so there's no clearance on the main bearings. My old man to check it. His old man had a look and he knows what he's talking about. No, no go. No bueno. Not good. Two months at a machine shop and it's not even f***ing <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, so we're all loaded back up in the ute, heading home, and uh, gonna have to take the block back to the machiner and get him to look at it again. Good times. Alright, so it's the next day and I'm on my way back into the machine shop. I just thought I would explain a little bit of what actually happened last night. So. We, uh, we put the crank in, the main caps and the girdle on and started talking down the main studs. Well, we talked down all the main studs and what actually happened is we weren't able to spin the crank anymore. So what that meant was that the main bearings around the crank and the main caps, there was, wasn't any clearance in the main bearings. So therefore it was crushing too much and the crank wasn't able to spin anymore. So the guy at the machine shop never double checked the clearance on the main bearings after he got me to order the size bigger than 0.025 larger main bearings and never double checked them so there's obviously no clearance and I'm probably going to need him to machine out the block and main caps so I'll have a little bit of clearance on the main bearings and the crank can still spin freely when they're all torqued down. So it's a public holiday, I'm on my way back in there and I'm hoping to fight that he's open today and yeah, I don't know, hopefully he can do it ASAP so I can get this motor together ASAP and go fucking drifting again. But anyway, if you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Um, I'll probably make another video when I get the block back and it's actually ready to assemble and I finish putting it together. But yeah, make sure you hit like and subscribe until the next one. 18 was a thing for the pipe popping zans Now I charge for the features I write Plus I need to remind a few peeps They OGs for Q's and the P's they don't mind They think they OGs but they like every week They don't know we can see through they type All these sheep with the keys to my ride Try to jump in my lane for the day just to see what it's like